There was a mental hospital for the criminally insane. It was a state hospital in Hawaii. And it was so hellish that the inmates, being as violent and unpredictable as they were, were sedated or shackled every day. And the doctors, the nurses that worked there hated it so much they kept quitting. So the turnover was staggering. And the state hospital needed to have a licensed therapist there in order to get their funding. And finally, they accepted an oddball therapist who said, look, I'm going to do my own brand of therapy and I'm not even going to work directly with the patients, but I'll be there on staff. And this was the man who used Ho'oponopono to help heal those mentally ill criminals. And it's important to realize, I always have to make sure people understand this. He was not talking to them. He was not doing traditional therapy with them. With them. He was not prescribing anything to them. He wasn't giving them timeouts or punishment or restraint. He didn't do any of that stuff. The one thing he did was work on himself. And this story is relevant for anybody going through anything because we always want to give our power away and say, if only my spouse changed, if only my employer changed, if only the pandemic went away, if only the government did this. That's not how Ho'oponopono works. Ho'oponopono says you are 100% responsible for everything in your life experience. When you really stop and look at it, everything in your life experience takes place inside of you. So this therapist is looking at all of these patients because you can see them wandering around, you know, and he sees their charts and he's got his feelings. He's embarrassed, he's enraged, he's angry, he's going through all kinds of stuff. But instead of venting it, he goes inside and he does, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, to his connection to, he would use the word divinity. And as he did that, he's deluding his feelings inside himself. So where he was upset, the more he said, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, the more he quieted inside himself, which was the whole point. He's trying to get clear. He's trying to get clear in him. As he does, those patients start getting better. Within a few months, they weren't shackled or sedated. A few months after that, some of them were pronounced healthy and normal and released. During this time, the other doctors and nurses, the staff said, we don't know what you're doing, but whatever it is, do it for us too. And then he would teach them about Ho'oponopono. Within four years, that entire ward was closed. I had heard the story much like you, and I dismissed it at first, but then I, it gnawed at me and I kept thinking, if this is true, then somebody needs to tell the world. Because if a man can heal an entire ward of mentally ill criminals, which most of us would give up on, how much power do we have in our little domain with our little problems and our little conflicts and our little issues? If he can do that, what can we do? And that's what led to me writing Zero Limits, which I wrote with the therapist, Dr. Hulen.